My Walden people, welcome to the wild world of Farley. Let's get it, stay wildin'. What's up my Wildin' people? Welcome to another episode of Wild World of Farley. With yours truly, your boy Farley, aka Dr. Wild Death. My Wildin' people, on my last video I changed my name, my channel's name, from Wild World of Farley to Dr. Wild Death. And you guys, didn't, you guys had no idea who I was. In fact, I even got comments that said, who the F is Dr. Wild Death? I found that a little funny. Apart from that, I lost subscribers, guys. Bruh. Join, subscribe. Why'd you leave me in the first place? I'm still the same Farley, but I digress. On today's video, we're gonna focus on micro fish. Like I mentioned in my last video, I'm moving away from monster fish and focusing more on tank fish, you know? Fish you can fit in 10 gallons, 15 gallons, 20 gallons, maybe 30 or 40, but no more than that. And to start off the series, as you guys can tell, we're talking about neon tetras. And you may be wondering, did those neon tetras that I had to bring to work, did they survive? Well, obviously they did or else I would not be making this video. But let's find out. So enough of me talking. Let's get right into this, of course. Let's get it. All right, so these albino fish are here temporarily. I'm thinking about doing an albino's only pond, transforming catfish kingdom into that. Now let's focus on the tetras. All right, the moment you guys have all been waiting for. To talk about my tetras. All right, so you may be wondering what was up with me bringing them to work. Uh, it's a long story, guys. That's actually not that long. I bought these beautiful tetras. Right now, they look like some of them are neon tetras and some of them are cardinal. We'll go into how you can distinguish that later. But I bought these beautiful, beautiful tetras and I had to go to work immediately after. That being said, I had nothing but guppy grass in a bottle. And I wanted them to survive, so guess what? I had guppy grass, a bottle, as well as an aerator. And I made sure that they were aerated and had enough oxygen. And they were doing well all throughout the day. And look at that. Not one tetra was lost and they made it. Guys, I do not recommend doing that. I do not recommend that you bring your fish to work. Nah, it's, not, it's not a good thing. It's not a good feeling. It's very dangerous. So I would not advocate for that. But a fish keeper who works got to do what a fish keeper got to do. You feel me? You feel me? And here they are. I think that's a perfect side-by-side -side comparison right there between a neon and a cardinal. Yeah, you see how the cardinal has much more of a deeper red stripe? Alright, so I may add some more fish into this tank and make it a nice little community. Uh, I'm thinking whether I should add more tetras. Or I may give these tetras to my girlfriend who currently has a guppy tank. Guys, comment below and let me know if you want to see how that guppy tank is going. It's exciting. Um, the guppies are pregnant and the guppies are giving live births to guppy fry. So again, guys, comment below and let me know if you guys want to see or get an update on that process. Take a minute and admire this tank. Look at all the plants. I use fluval stratum. I have some spider wood. Uh, let's take a moment. Let's pause and I'll point out what plants I actually do have. So what I plan to do is I plan to add some more fish to this tank. These tetras are very calm, very nice, and very beautiful. I'm thinking about adding guppies like I mentioned earlier. I may add some dwarf Mexican crayfish. What's also important to know is there's different levels that fish will reside in when they're in a tank. So as long as I don't mix the levels and the fish aren't aggressive, we're good to go. Alright, so I'm going to do a quick feeding. Uh, we'll just enjoy the feeding of these tetras. I'll give you some quick facts, some basics. That's important knowledge about these tetras. You may be wondering what exactly am I feeding them? That's a good question. Don't know if you guys can see it. Let me turn on the light so you can. Eh, micro pellets. Seem to do wonders. And it actually has tetras on there, so that's a good sign. So let me drop some micro pellets. And we'll just watch them eat. Alright, so this is the part of the video where I play some nice chill music and we just enjoy the feedings. I've dropped some pellets. Probably a little too much, but uh, it is what it is at this point. Let's just watch. Look at them go. Alright, they're going crazy. I 
have a good amount of Tetras in this tank. I'd say I probably have maybe 12. Yeah, it's raining. By the way, shout out to the neighborhood fish farm in Miami for always hooking it up. Gave me these beautiful, 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 and I mean gorgeous Cardinal Tetras. As far as the Neon Tetras, I got them from PetSmart. All right, my wild people, I hope you enjoyed this episode. You guys saw my Tetras, both my Neons and my Cardinals, living together in harmony. It is what it is. I highly recommend Tetras if you're a beginner, if you're new to fishing, fish keeping. Tetras are so easy to take care of, and they make any tank pop. They're gorgeous. Why not? All right, I'm really excited to share all the different fish that I'm going to get, all the different small fish that I'm going to put in small tanks. I can't wait to share with you guys. So stay tuned. And until next time, stay wildin'. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, you viewer. Before you go, I want to say thanks for watching. Apart from that, if you haven't already, subscribe, give me a like, and of course, stay wildin'. And just like that, we have another box. What's inside this box? I know you guys want to find out. Obviously, some type of live fish. What kind of live fish? Only way you're going to find out is if you subscribe to this channel, hit the notification bell, give me a like, comment, and stay tuned to the next video. Come on, you know you want to find out what's inside, what kind of fish. Stay wild.